Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to make the letter A, and um, you're going to need four strands. Um, I'm going to say probably you want to do um, at least two of those the same, and the other two can be any color you want. Um, for me, I'm doing clear um, for the other color, and I'm doing, oh, my colors are clear and orange. Um, and the reason I'm doing clear and orange, um, <clears throat> you're starting the project off like you would start the um, rocket ship, or the heart, and... When you look at the letter A, it like points, and there wouldn't be that little like chunk of space there. Actually, I'll show you once I get it started. But um, you want to set this off with like a rocket ship, so just start your square. And um, right now I'm sitting in front of my closet, um, because I was thinking about it, and if I want to film during the daytime, I can't sit between two windows that um are behind my back because they create a weird light, um, and it kind of makes it look like I'm using a weird camera or just, um, it's like really bad lighting or something. Um, so, let me get this started. So, here are the colors that I'm using, the clear and the orange. Um, and it says bright fluorescent orange, and I don't even know where I got it from, um, because it's not on, like, a normal boondoggle roll. <clears throat> but, um, pretty cool. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do three stitches, probably, of this. Um, maybe four. I don't really know. I didn't really think about it. This is uh, the first one I'm making. Kind of like the J one. I just kind of like wung it. Wung it. I just wung it on that one. Yeah. So let's keep going. Okay, so I did four stitches. Now I want to put in the second strand of orange. Now you don't have to use orange for your second strand. You can use any color you want. Um, it They don't have to match. I just want mine to match. So I'm going to use orange and... Um, I'm going to lay it between the already there orange strands so that they line up perfectly. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is so that when um, like I divide them out, they're, uh, they're orange and not like another weird color. So I'm just going to start that. Um, so you do want to check out the uh, rocket ship starter video thing, maybe even my heart video, um, for like tips on how to do this. Um, because I do show how to make those in that video, but, um, it is a little rather time-consuming to do that. If that makes any sense at all, whatsoever what I'm saying. Oh, another exciting thing. Um, I'm kind of partnered with YouTube now, I guess you could say. I, uh, one of my videos is starting to generate revenue, which is super exciting. Um, I was so excited, so... My mom's been, like, calling everybody and telling them that, oh, Dana makes YouTube videos, you better go watch her. So weird. Um, just so weird to hear that, her saying that. But, um, one of my sisters knew and the other one didn't know, so the one that didn't know was, like, really confused when I told her, and the one that knew was all excited. Um, she was just like, so what's the big deal? Like, whatever, she just doesn't understand, clearly. <clears throat> okay. So, for the brick portion of this, you want to do maybe three stitches as well. Um... That's probably just what I'm going to do is three or four, just so that, you know, you can see the general point taking taking shape. <clears throat> I also have to clean my room today, and if I don't clean my room by Friday, I'm not allowed to drive the car. Well, actually, right now I'm not allowed to drive the car because my room's a mess, but if I don't clean it by the weekend, I get something else taken away. I don't really know what my dad's going to take away. Probably my cell phone. Mm, not cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had my cell phone taken away in um, a really long time. Probably since, like, for like two years I haven't had my phone taken away, which, yeah. All right. So now you're at this point, and you want to add in your last color. Um, it doesn't have to be the same color as, like, hold on. As, it doesn't have to be uh, this clear color like I'm using. Again, it can be any color you want. I'm just using clear because I want it to look like an A. Um, and I mean, it'll still look like an A no matter what you do, but this will, uh, it'll really help the A show because of the clearness that is there. That makes, doesn't, doesn't make sense. When you see it, it'll make sense. So you just want to put that one in as well between the two oranges. These are like an orangish pink, actually. I'm just going to put those in. Alright, so now you have that in there. And you just want to do three more stitches, maybe? I keep leaning against my closet door, so they're making that noise. You can probably also see them moving behind me, but, um, 
that's just what's happening. Um, I kind of want to, like, I don't know. I wish I could sit at my desk and film, but my desk is covered with a lot of stuff right now. And it's really not filmable to sit there. But maybe if I cleaned it up, it'd be filmable. I've actually sat at my desk, I actually sat at my desk like once, but my desk isn't, is really at a weird angle, and you would just see my closet doors anyways, and probably like my bedroom door, so I don't do that. Okay, so now you can see how the A is starting to take place, and if you can also tell, there's that like little clear section right there, and that's um, helping to like make it give it that pointed look at the top. If you put another color in there, you would see that color and it would look kind of messy, so I just didn't want to put that other color in. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to separate this out like you would be making a, um, the rocket ship, I'm not the rocket ship, the heart. And just scoot in a little bit. <clears throat> okay. So you just want to take that orange and you just want to make that square stitch. And to complete it, you want to take this center clear strand and feed it through to the loop. And this one on the end and over the tail and under the loop. And you're going to do that on both sides. And you just want to create maybe 15 stitches. And then you want to um, take a look and see if that's a good size. Um, since I haven't made this one yet, I really don't know what it's going to do. So I'm going to work on this, and then I'll go back to show you the next step. For that little table thing, you want to um, start a uh, thing a square, um, and you want to do your first lit st first stitch, first stitch a little loose, um, not entirely tight, uh, just because you want to be able to thread it through. Um, I actually made my stitch around that strand, but uh, if you see here, this inside strand, this is the one you're going to be threading with. Um, so you just want to take that strand and you want to thread your square project onto it. Okay, so you're going to have them like kind of doing this type of thing, which is exactly what you would like. Um, and then you just want to keep building your square. So I'm building my square with that other square attached to it. Um, and I really just want to call this little piece of table because I have no idea what the heck it's called. But whatever you want to call it is whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now I did a second stitch and that's locked in place. And uh, you can see that this this one in the center here is like going perpendicular to it. See that? Um, and you just want to maybe build a couple more stitches on this one just to really lock that into place. And then you want to um, continue building this across until it like reaches this, um, wow, I'm holding it like up above the computer, until it reaches this side of the project. So now you're at the point where this, where the little table thing like reaches, and you want to put this in to the stitch. So you're just going to um, continue working with this one, and do one stitch. Don't tighten it up yet, because um, you need to like feed through it. Alright, so then take this middle strand, you want to go up through it so that when you tighten it, this um, clear strand is like coming right out the center. So just do two stitches, and why are you twisted? So we'll just do two quick stitches. I mean, like two second stitch to lock that. <clears throat> And then you just want to take this strand here and you just want to pull. Okay, so now that you can see that it's in the middle here, and you just want to continue working. Alright, so one stitch. Stitch number two. 
All right, so now you have that little table thing that's just fully like interconnected there, and you just want to keep building down on this side and then this side and um, get them until they look even and it looks like a capital letter A, and then you'll be done. So I will continue working on that and show you what the finished product will look like. We did A looks like, um, and you can see that it is an A, and if I'm holding it far away, you don't see this like little um, piece right here the little inner triangle, you just see that it is the letter A. So that's why I put um, the clear boondoggle in there, because it kind of um, it helps like block that out so you're not seeing it. And my hair is a little bump, and I know that I wasn't wearing a um, headband earlier, but this is like three hours later that I'm now finishing the filming. So if you have any questions, please feel free to message me um, and let me know, or you can always comment below, and uh, I'll be back soon with more letters um, and also more tutorials. So keep watching. Bye, guys.